Okay, continuing on now with question number three, I'm going to go on to part C. However, there was something that I kind of missed out, I didn't see because of the, uh, the way the page is set up here. Um, I think I stopped in the last video at this point over here, I didn't continue the line up. I kind of didn't see that other point over there because the page was like this when I drew my graph, it was kind of like this. So I, I stopped there for some reason. So actually the line has to continue on all the way, of course, up to that point there. And then now we can continue, okay? So the last video kind of stopped over there somewhere instead of continuing to this point, which I didn't see. It was kind of hidden away from my graph. Of course, in the real exam, of course, that wouldn't happen because you can see the whole page in front of you. All right, so now let's go on to question part C. It says, use your graph to solve 2x plus 1 over x is... Uh, 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 2. So we've, gonna ask, we've been asked to solve the equation Okay, 2 over x, it's the same thing as this, 2x, sorry, plus 1 over x minus 3, and it says is greater than, let's make sure, it says is greater than or equal to 2. It's greater than or equal to 2. Okay, it's greater than or equal to 2. So we have to solve this equation here. I'm just... Uh, Okay, using the graph. Now we're used to seeing solve the equation something like 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 is equal to 2. Okay, so first of all I'm going to actually draw, we know to solve an equation we make sure that what's drawn, okay, and what we have to solve look the same. So what's drawn and what, what, we, what we have to solve, they do. One side of this looks exactly the same as that, there's nothing we need to modify. But I've got to draw the boundary line here. I'm going to draw the line y equals 2. Okay, I'll draw the line y equals 2. So that's a horizontal line. Remember, y equals is a horizontal line. Everywhere on that line, the, the value of y is 2. Okay, I'll try and make that a bit thinner because we want to try to get as accurately as we can our answers. Okay, so we're going to make this thin. All right, so make it like, maybe like that. That's a bit thinner. Okay, so now this is the line y equals 2. y equals 2. Okay, let's make it a bit more accurate. Exactly on that line. Okay, that's fine. So that's y equals 2. And you see normally you're, you're asked, you're, you know, most, most questions they say 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals 2. So you'd see where they intersect and you'd write down the x values. Okay, you kind of have to do a similar thing here to begin with, but then you've got to do something different. Okay, so we're going to find out first where they're equal. We're going to find out first where they're equal. So this, it looks like it's exactly at this point over here, and it looks like it's exactly at this point over here. Go through there. Okay. That's what my graph shows. I don't know how accurate I am, but we'll see. Okay, so what's that point that? That's 0 0.1. That's 0 0.2. That's 0 0.1. That's 0 0.2. That's four squares, right? For one, two, three, four, right? So that's zero. That's one point. That's like one point. Sorry, 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Okay, 0 0.2 is that point here? And here you've got something like that's two. That's 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Okay, it's like 2.3. 2.3 okay so that's where y equals 2 and the graph that we have which is 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 intersect but the questions are asking us to find where they're equal to each other it's asking us to find when this graph is greater than y equals 2 so it's greater than y equals 2 when it's above it now this graph is above okay y equals 2 it starts becoming above y equals 2 at this point here when x is equal to 0 0.2. And it, it's below it, keeps going below it, it's below it, it's below it, it's below it. And it starts going above it again when x equals 2.3. Right? So when it says greater than or equal to. So when x is less than or equal to 0 0.2, then this is true this graph is above that graph. And when x is more than 
Okay, when x is more than 2.3, when x is greater than 2.3, or equal to 2.3, then this is true as well. Because it's equal to this graph and the line y equals to y equal to each other when x equals 2.3. But the, this graph, this, this equation 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 is greater than y equals 2. It's greater than 2. And all the values this way and all the values of x going on that way. Okay, that continues going up. That continues going up. This is just cont continues being horizontal. So all the values of x where um, all the values of x greater than 2.3, the, the graph 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 will be greater than 2, and all the values of x when x is less than 0 0.2, this graph will be greater than y equals 2. So that's the solution. So those are the solutions. x is less than 0 0.2, and x is greater than 2.3. So let me write those down. So you've got x is less than or equal to 0 0.2, and x is greater than or equal to 2.3, and those are my two solutions there. And um, then it says, part D, the equation 1 over x equals 7 minus 3x can be solved using your graph in part B and a straight line. Now, what's drawn in the graph in part B is y equals 2x plus 1 over x plus, um, minus 3. That's what, that's what we drew. That's the equation that was drawn in part B. Okay? The equation that was drawn in part B. Okay, so what we have to do is, we have to try to modify, so this is what's drawn. We have to solve the equation 1 over x equals 7 minus 3x, and we have to solve this equation using the graph that's drawn. Now what we can't change is the graph that's drawn, that will be like a big hassle to change, it's already drawn. So we want to solve it okay by modifying this equation and we, what we have to do is we have to try to make one side of this equation look exactly like what's been drawn so i want to see 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 on one of this uh, one of the sides of this equation now i can see here i've got 1 over x i can see how i've got 1 over x so it's like we're getting somewhere right so what do i have to do to this to make it look like 2x plus 1 over x minus 3 well, if I add 2x to this side, you're going to have 2x plus 1 over x. And if I take away 3 from this side, I'm going to have 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other side. I'm put equals here. What I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So this, I have to add 2x and take away 3 um, to both sides. So here I'm going to have 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. That looks exactly what we've done, or what we need to make it look like. But the other side, you're going to have 7 minus 3, which is 4, and you're going to have minus 3x plus 2x, which is minus x. So once you made one side look exactly like what's drawn, that means we need to draw y equals whatever's on the other side. So we need to draw the line y equals 4 minus x, and that will solve the equation. Okay, so for this part D, they didn't ask us to solve it. They just asked us to write down the equation that we would need to draw on the same graph in order to solve the equation. Okay, so the equation 1 over x equals 7 minus 3x can be solved using your graph in part B, which is on the other page, which is given by this equation, and a straight line. Okay, so this is the straight line that we can use to solve that equation, and that's part D, D part 1, and D part 2 tells you to draw this straight line and thereby solve the equation. So I have to go back to my graph and I have to draw the line y equals 4 minus x on this graph. Let me get rid of these things here, just we've used them already. Okay, let me get rid of this so I can have some space to deal with it. So I've got to draw the line y equals 4 minus x. Now to draw this line, you need to know um, two points in the side, it's just a straight line. It's not like a curve, it's a straight line. If you know two points on a straight line, you can draw it, okay? So I need to know two points on this line to draw it. Now, there's lots of ways to draw straight lines, but this is one of them. So you can say, okay, when uh, when x is zero, y is four. That's one point. Um, for example, when x is one, y is three. When x is one, y equals four minus three. So when x is one, 
y is 3. Okay, so when x is 1, y is 3. So it goes through this point as well. Two points is enough. I can just draw it's a straight line. It's not a curve, it's a straight line. You've got two points, you can draw it. I could have also said, okay, I know that this is y equals mx plus c. m is the coefficient of the x, the gradient minus 1. And c is equal to 4. So I know it goes through y, the y-intercept at 4. And for every 1, it goes down. It goes 1 to the right. Okay, so you can see that it gives us the same line. And anyhow, I'm going to draw the line. Um, and I'm going to make it go through these points. Okay, you can see it goes through the point 1, 3, and it goes to the point 2, 2. Okay, y equals 4 minus 2. When x is 2, y is 2. Okay, 3, 1. When x is 3, y is 1. That's right. So it goes to the points it needs to. And this is y equals 4 minus x. And we can solve this equation by finding where these lines intersect. So depending on how good my graph is, my graph isn't 100% accurate, but let's just see. Oops, that's a bit off. Let's see what we get. I'm going to get a value down here somewhere. And I'm going to get a value right here. Okay. So it looks like I've got the, the values. That's 0 0.15. 0 0.15 is one place. And the other place is 2.1, 2 2.2. 2 .2. 2.2. .2. And 2.2. Okay, so 0 0.15 and 2.2. Let's hope those are accurate values. Thank you for listening.